Welcome to A Haunter's Life, the show that gives you an inside look at what it's like to be a haunter. Well, since we've started A Haunter's Life, you've really gotten to meet most of the core group of the people that, that do a lot of the work behind the scenes. But what we want to do is start showing you some of the people that are actually out there in front. The people that are in the costume, the people that are entertaining our customers. So we're going to let you talk, well actually we're going to let a couple of our actors talk to you today. You can't really talk to them because you're like sitting there at your computer with a sandwich and a coke. So you really can't be that interactive with us. So anyway, I just want to introduce you to Liz and Samantha. And uh, Samantha, we'll start with you. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and, and kind of how you, you came to be a part of the Haunt House crew. Okay. Um, well, a friend of mine and I decided that we thought it would be cool to work at the haunt, so we talked to Steve Moran and he said that it would be okay to work up there, and so we went up there and we went to the orientation and decided it was fun, so we decided to start when the season started. And so now this, this last year was your first year, right? Yes. And uh, what, what do you like the best about it? Um, it's kind of cool because one minute I could just be standing completely still and nobody will see me and then I could kind of jump out from something and everybody screams and it's kind of probably the funnest part of everything. And uh, you plan on coming back next year, right? Definitely. Okay, and then the year after that? Mm -hmm. What about like 2017? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, well, well, we'll just kidding. We'll talk about that. Liz, how about you? Um, I, this was my first season as well. I just saw the ad in the newspaper and I guess emailed Bart. And, um, yeah, I'm, I guess, in the freezer, and I'm a little girl. <laughs> and what do you like the best about doing this? What's, is it, what's fun about scaring people for you? Uh, their screams, because then it's, <laughs> I don't know, it's like, I'm able to just scare someone just by looking. Okay. Just by looking at them, and we get to move around the, the room and hide, and the strobe light helps a lot. Awesome. So y'all like being a part of the, the Haunt House family mm -hmm. and kind of hanging out with everybody in the off season? Definitely. Well, we love having y'all around too. So anyway, that's Liz and Samantha. Come see them. Okay, the project of the week has been the pink phone that we've been working on since last week. Uh, basically, you'll see the footage of the whole process um, sped up that Ryan will edit. But uh, it basically goes from this pink foam here piece to what you see now. So what are you doing, Mark? I am painting bricks. Now, I had to paint the bricks black first because uh, the paint looked a little pink. I gotta dull it down a little bit, but we got enough paint on here now that whenever it dries or whatnot, I'll hit it with uh, uh, some brown spray paint, kind of dull it out, make it look aged a little bit. And what is this material again? Foam! <laughs> Playing with foam! Is this your first try at it? This is my first try. <laughs> Dear A Haunter's Life, I think you guys are amazing and that Hobbs is hot. Anyways, here's my problem. Four years ago, my girlfriend left me after six years of dating. She said I was immature. When we broke up, I went upstairs to my mother and asked her what to do. She said, if you want a staple relationship with that girl, don't ever let her go. So I've been trying to win her back every day, but she never returns my calls, doesn't accept my flowers or gifts, and has taken out three restraining orders. 
What am I doing wrong? Yours, despondent in, in Detroit. <sighs> well, obviously, what you're doing wrong is if your mother, if you're going by your mother's advice of not letting her go, you need to go over to her house. Try to find her window, whatever room she's in at night. Break, break the window. You can do a quick thing or you can do a real silent. You can figure out how to open up the window, go inside. Make sure you bring duct tape and a gag. Um, or you can always bring chloroform and Dear Diary, I, did I just go? Wait, no. Yes, I did. How's it going, Hobbs? Ryan? <laughs> do you really like that camera? Yeah. Because I swear to God, it's going to get inserted in your <laughs> in a minute. Hey. Okay. She's heard the word inserted before. <laughs> yes, inserted is not a bad word. It is, it, it is a real word. I didn't make it up or nothing. Just doing a little bit of the painting in the black because I'm trying this new airbrush out that I'm not that used to yet. So I'll go back in and hide any imperfections with the airbrush. What airbrush is that? Uh, one Bart picked up at Transworld. It's just not known for getting really good details. So that's why I'm doing this a little bit like this to try to help it out along the way. This will be one of the other scarecrows that Brain Chow was selling. Well, we at A Hunter's Life would like to have an opportunity to interact a little bit more with you. So now we have a Facebook page that's set up. And with that Facebook page, you can keep track of some of the things we're doing. We'll have all of our videos loaded onto the Facebook page. Well, we'd also welcome you to send us your comments, your suggestions. If there's things you'd like to see on A Hunter's Life, let us know there. And we'll be talking back and forth with you on the page. Well, we'd like to thank you for joining us for another episode of A Hunter's Life. Uh, we've got a lot coming up in the next few weeks. We've got uh, Texas Frightmare Weekend's going to be coming up and the uh, Midwest Hunters Convention, so we'll be talking quite a bit about those things over the next few episodes. But whatever you do, don't forget, subscribe. subscribe. Go ahead, Hobbs. How you doing? Welcome to A Hunter's Life, the show that gives you an inside look of the human body. <laughs> Excuse me now while I whip this out. Where are all the white women at? Welcome <laughs> to A Hunter's Life, the show that lets you know what it's like to be... I'm gonna puke. <laughs> Welcome to A Hunter's Life, the show that lets you get an inside look <laughs> at Ryan's freaking butthole. <laughs> Because Ryan likes that. That's uh, where he uses his iPhone. It's his iButt. Uh. Good night, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs>